Why is this event more concentrated on spoofing? We're doing more spoofing using higher power. A crew could use JAMA to enter the Norwegian territorial water to avoid sanctions. We try to break them in a controlled environment. We have uh, the military close by, so that shouldn't really be a problem. Hi everyone, we are again in the north of Norway on JAMA Test 2023 and we are going to test several of our products. First of all, the upgraded algorithms for interference classification for our advanced probe. Then, our new low-cost uh, one-channel Genesis sensor. And finally, and all-weather probe with integrated antenna system. Why is this event more concentrated on spoofing? Is it something related to the your current observation on the road, you know? on the spectrum, or you want to be prepared uh, for the future scenario? We are trying to be prepared. So we are trying to be ahead of a curve so that will hopefully make people uh, more resilient when this actually starts to appear more more frequently. Uh, I think it's uh, we're doing more spoofing this year than last year. And we're also using higher power with spoofing. In addition, we're also doing meconing. Since participants are both from mobile uh, automotive timing, we've done scenarios both with uh, simulated uh, driving routes and, and also with time manipulation mm -hmm. spoofing. So we've done both uh, coherent attacks and non-coherent attacks, both, both for the manipulate the position and motion and also where we manipulate only the, the timing. Also what we're doing this year is to provide uh, undisturbed, really accurate reference timing, so you can actually measure the effect of, of timing on timing uh, receivers. We are thinking that this will be a problem in the future, so we are just now trying to prepare, make people aware of the problem, test their technologies, make sure that they can mm -hmm. observe it, and hopefully they can survive it. You have become a dangerous spoofing expert over the last year. No, actually we're trying to make devices safer, but to do that, we try to break them in a controlled environment mm -hmm. so that uh, equipment manufacturers will learn and improve their products. Can you share with our subscribers any information about what has been detected near border with Russia, if you could? Yeah, that's uh, charming. Only German. Yeah. But every day, <laughs> every week, every day, <laughs> every week. Also, more, not, more or less. Okay, nothing special. Just huge interference every day. Remember, approximately six months ago, we discussed a huge interference two day long, which we detected here mm -hmm. in this particular region, and. Um, at the time we decided it was most likely coming from a vessel from the sea and probably a crew could use JAMA, for example, to avoid sanctions, uh, to enter the Norwegian territorial water. And my question is, what exactly you are going to do in case the same interference occurs during the JAMA test? Then we would react as we normally do if we are close enough to actually catch the culprit. Yeah, we have boats, we have uh, the military close by, so that shouldn't really be a problem. Any interesting observation you can share with our subscribers? I mean, our observation this year is, is that some of the receivers we've been monitoring are actually refusing to give out, give out uh, mm. a false solution. I want to remind people that uh, this event is open to everybody. So if they're interested, they should contact one of the organizers, for example, me. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they can get information of what's been going on. Uh, or uh, if they're interested, maybe to participate uh, next year, they can also show that interest and uh, hopefully we'll see them here next year. Mm -hmm.